Hi, now we're here with Deborah Wright. This is her studio, and it's the Blue Bell Studio, and she's open. And uh, it's so nice that you opened your studio for, for us. How, how many artists do you have in there for open studios? For open studios, we have five artists in this space today, which is phenomenal. It's a, a wonderful big space, and I hope to always have the energy that these artists are bringing in to continue with the creative flow. Well, when that's it's great. Let's go inside yeah, and you show me what it. you're doing and how this evolved. Okay. Let's see. Where's your... Where's your uh, oh, art. here we go. <laughs> here we go. This is some of my art. It's um, intuitive, so it's just a big empty blank space like this warehouse once was. Yes, um, very recently was. Three months ago. And it gives me an opportunity to take something from nothing and create light and color and energy and, and put it out there to start exercising so that my fluids start going so other things branch out creative too. Well, you've had quite a background. Uh, weren't you active in the theater as far as costume design and things like that? I have been sewing since I was 10 years old and created my own wardrobes and things through high school and also in college did a lot of the theatrical designs and costuming. Later on when I moved up to the Motherload, I started working with a lot of the reenactors, historic reenactors, and helped them get period costume pieces together. Um, also had a business for 10 years in that field with my husband that we sort of managed from 1850 to 1920, replica clothing and accessories and it's a lot of fun. Met great people. Well, you're great people and you also not only paint but you design so many different things. Look at that open studio sign up there. That's pretty that's pretty terrific. Well, you know, we have this little industrial space and you got to put a little of that, that in with it, you know, yeah. and, and doll it up. Um, yeah, so it was wonderful. Would you like to have a, more of a tour? Yes. Yes, I would. Okay. Um, she's taking us on a tour. So this space worked out really well for all of the different venues. Um, this was one great big gigantic open area <laughs> and uh, we created a little wall space so we could divide it off. Here's my little charm. That's our little, that's our little Lori story. Be that. <laughs> Love it. Um, so I wanted to create a little more of a cozy feeling in such a big area. So we created two rooms and uh, There'll be workshops and lovely little retail here with artists and eventually and in the back room there's a lot of area to do other things. Haven't discovered what those are yet but I'm sure that it'll talk to me soon. Well you also have, you set up a kitchen, you set up a sewing room, you've yes. got your office uh -huh. and uh, control there's space, <laughs> <laughs> your <There's> control center. <laughs> there's so many places here to niche out little spots and so it's all coming together now and it's lovely to have all of the supplies in one great big place so you can see them and get them easily and um, have access to them. That, and my dream is to have other people come in here too and, and enjoy the space. You know, if they have well, a big, we are. Well, and if you have a big project at home and you don't have the space for it, here you are. Bring your lunch, bring your project and come in and spend the day with me. and. And, and we'll you're here, what days of the week? Monday through Wednesday from 10 to 4, um, unless there's severe weather or oh, some yes. other type of thing. Um, I'll try to put a note on the door, but in the meanwhile, we just really want to have fun together and hold each other up and yes. create together. And well, we inspire each other, which we're each other's muses. That's true. Yes, and everything that you see in this, all the painting, the wall painting, the drapery, all the design was done by Deb. She has she has a way of making things come alive and and be enjoyable and inviting. Thank you. And thank you very much. Well, thank you. It's it's wonderful to know you and to be part of your your space.
And my uh, philosophy in life is never throw anything away because it could be made into art. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of us are like that. Yeah, that's why we have to have outside studios. That's right. <laughs> out of out of the guest room, <laughs> off the kitchen table. <laughs> well, thank Definitely. you. We're going to go over and visit with our artist over here. Please do, Lo Laureen Shimon. Thank you. Thank you. Here's Lorene Shimon. Hi, Hi. Lorene. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Lorene and I go back to the beginning of, of when I first moved up here. Right, and right. she introduced me to a lot of the artists in the area through the Amador County Artists Association. And she does uh, some incredible variety, an incredible variety of things. You want to start by yeah. uh, showing us what you're... I'm from Mean's a family of artists, clear back to my great-grandma, my grandma, my mother, me, uh, my daughter, and now my grandkids. So I've got the natural gene. <laughs> you, you have a natural gene. <laughs> and you like to work with natural things like silk. Right, right. So this is what I love to do is the unique one of a kind, like this one. You'll never find another one like this. It took so long, I'll never do another one like that again. <laughs> but I got first place, best of show, and best of division at the fair. So I, I <laughs> all the time spent on that. This is resist, and you squeeze it out of a little tube, and that is what makes those little things. And then it dries for the leaves and the stem and the grapes, and then you come back and you start filling in. And then when you're all done with your design, then you do the background. And it's a water-based ink, and these are silk that I order from Dharma. And oh, I'm sorry. And then so here's some resist. Those are my Dragon design. Fly. These are my own designs. I have done my own designs. Now these these uh, paintings on your scarf, from what I understand, is these were so popular that you decided to do paintings of them. Yes, if you turn around and see on the top right, you'll see the oriental poppies, and that's my own design. Speak up, okay. So I have fun doing the... You have fun my own do my own designs, yeah. And then yeah. some of the other scarves are easier because I don't use the resist. But I also do pen and ink, black and white, or I do pen and ink and watercolor. And that's what these are. And I love nature. As you can see, everything is nature. <laughs> nature or habitat. Yeah. <laughs> and here's some more scarves over here. And those are my fun tie-dye scarves, tie -dye and I sold scarves. quite a few yes. yesterday. They are very popular. Yes, tie-dye. And you can get them in any color, and I have people that special order whatever color they want or whatever design they want on the silk scarves. And you also have sun catchers, don't you? you I only show? have two left. You want, so you sold some sun yeah. catchers, huh? You just go up oh. in the window, and I call them cheap stained glass oh, and you geez. put <laughs> and I put salt on it when it's still wet when the dye is wet you put salt on it and that's what makes the pattern for the flowers and but this is all resist yes that's right? my design and I notice there's a little 3d to it, it looks mm -hmm. like it's 3d yeah just in the middle because it's real thick there yeah. and those you don't have to cook no, no. <laughs> Everything else gets wrapped and steamed for like three hours, and then you have to press them. And they're unique, one-of-a-kind scarves because you don't ever find them like that. And then here's the pen and ink. Well, now, where could somebody get a hold of you if they were interested in special ordering or uh, purchasing something they've seen today? Well, they can call me. <laughs> or I'm online and I'm on Facebook, and, and they what can. What would be the uh, What would be the address to the either the email address? The artist or Lorraine. Artist Lorraine at volcano net. Okay. Yeah. That's good to and know. then uh, November and December, I'm being highlighted at Amateur Arts Gallery in Sutter Creek. Good. So and people, Arts the first Saturday of the month, they're going to have special order day. 
So people can come in and order whatever they want, as special colors or oh, anything. Good. Yeah. Good. So it's kind of fun to have a special order. Some of my scars have gone clear back to Scotland for a birthday present for someone's sister that lives in Scotland. So that's kind of cool. That is very cool. Well, Laureen, it was just absolutely wonderful <laughs> to see you and to be here sharing the studio Thank you. with you. <laughs> and we're going to go fun. over and unhide uh, <laughs> Lori's <laughs> story. <Laurie> story. <laughs> and uh, she's thank you for coming. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks uh -huh. for being here. I know it's been a tough time for yeah. you.